Alright YouTube, this is Techmaster2133 here again, and uh, I'm back with the Asus K55N laptop. Um, I made a video a while ago um, that was just going over it and describing how well it can run some games and its specs, that sort of thing. And uh, I got quite a few responses on that video. Um, quite a few questions of um, the temp monitors that I use, how hot it gets, uh, what games it could play, and that sort of thing. If it was good value for the money. Um, so, I'm pretty much just going to show you as well as I can. With uh, I don't have a tripod, so playing games with one hand is going to be a little hard. But uh, I'll do a few load tests, show you my in-game temp monitors, show you what they are, um, show you the temps that it gets to, and how well it can run a few games. I do have a video up. Um, it's the Dirt 3 gameplay video on this laptop and uh, the quality doesn't really bring out um, what it actually looked like in game. I had to um, convert it and when it got converted from the 30 gig fraps file down to like a 1 gig AVI even though I converted it in 1080p uh, it still looks um, like jagged edged and you know, low resolution type of thing. Alright, but I'm going to stop jabbering on and we'll get started. Uh, I haven't turned the thing on yet today. So, see what we get. System is fairly quiet while booting up. Can't hear any fan noise. Hey, YouTube. Video quality, I don't know how it's going to be. Uh, I'm only using a 10 megapixel camera, which by today's standards is crap. So I apologize for any grandness that might be in the video. Um, I've been using this laptop for probably close to a month now and it hasn't given me a single issue yet. Uh, also, I'd like to mention that the battery on this thing, um, I could squeeze about, when I am around, mm, three to three and a half hours, either, well, two hours, 45 to three hours, I still have 30% remaining, so I'm guessing you could squeeze about four hours worth of battery life out of this. It advertised 5.5 on their, uh, website, but, um, <laughs> I wouldn't hold out for that much. Video or, uh, let's see here. It does have facial recognition, but it's not going to work in this light. And it's not typing my password. Give me a second. <laughs> facial recognition feature is kind of cool but it only works half the time. You have to be in a very specific lighting uh, at a real specific time of day for it to work. Alright, let's let this finish starting up here. I got steam and everything that's got to load. And uh, it's just cooking away at that uh, 758 hard drive. It's a little slow. I even have speech recognition enabled, which I wouldn't recommend using on Windows 7. Oh, come on, hard drive, catch up with me here. Okay. What have we got loaded up so far? Uh, one of my temp monitors. Not quite done yet. Uh, Microsoft Security Essentials, HW Info 64, or Hardware Info 64, and the MSI on screen display. Should be one more. 
like I said in the previous video, this uh, hard drive is a nice hard drive. It's reliable, but it's going to be a little slow because it's 5400 RPM and it's lacking a lot of cache memory with the drive. So they give you a large hard drive, but you have to sacrifice a bit of speed. But once the system's up and running, you can barely tell. Alright, I think we're ready to go. So I'm going to fire up AMD Overdrive. Zoom in a bit on the screen here. And, okay, and that. And we're going to do a stability test. Going to enable all of them. And we're going to start it up. Alright. As you can see, it's running at 2.319 gigahertz. And we are at 60 Celsius in climbing. The highest I've seen on this laptop in a very hot room was around 82 Celsius, which might sound really hot. I know when I got this laptop at first, I was very worried about temps. But the max temp for the CPU and GPU in this thing, because it's an APU and they're combined into one, is 100 Celsius. And it will um, slow itself down if it starts getting too hot. Uh, it's supposed to have 2.8 gigahertz max turbo clock, but that is only on one core if the other ones are idle. The most you'll see while gaming is 2.3, so it sits at maybe 2.5 if you're lucky. But as you can see, we're at 100% load on all four cores, and it's staying 61 to uh, 62 Celsius, which isn't bad at all. Barely any fan noise whatsoever. So, yeah, that's all it's going to get to is 61 to 62 Celsius. GPU status, it's 52 right now. So, alrighty. Let that do its thing. Let's fire up some Red Faction now, I guess. Uh, I don't really know how this is going to work because Red Faction requires a mouse, which I am currently using, but um, I can't do the keyboard and the mouse at the same time. As you can see, I have my end game count monitor, CPU and GPU. We're at 56 and 51. So 56 and 51 right now. I do have a modded Red Faction Gorilla, God Mode, all that and fun stuff. Modded weaponry, unlimited ammo. Uh, I'll show you the, the settings I have it on right now. 1366 by 768. Uh, so I do have some things turned off. Um, it, it doesn't like ambient occlusion and sun shafts on, but I just turn the rest of the stuff down to get a solid 60 FPS. Because I mean, it's Red Faction, so I like that the buildings are going to be pretty, and the fact that I had the particle effects all the way up. Now, I really don't know how I'm going to be able to play this, because I can't do the mouse and keyboard at the same time. And as you can see, the game runs freaking butter smooth. Uh, there's an issue with textures glitching out like that because it is my copy of the game. So there's nothing I can really do about that because um, it is a downloaded copy of the game. But that is not an issue with the computer itself. That is just my game.
So oh, yes, it runs quite nice. Hmm. Interesting. There it goes. So, we are at 58 and 55 CC and GPU. So, very, very good temperatures. But yeah, the uh, the issue with the glitching textures is my copy of the game. Um, what next? We can fire up some Far Cry 3. I'm only using 20% of my RAM. It has 8 gigs of RAM in it. Hope this video is entertaining enough. I'm, I can't watch my own videos. I don't find them very entertaining, but it seems like other people do, so it's all good. Try my hardest. Not really one to, uh, I'm not very good at talking to the camera. I tend to ramble on, so if I'm doing that in a video and you don't like it, let me know. I just find people like it more when the person is engaging. Not just sitting there silent. Uh, I do have this on all low. Um, this is what this one runs it at, non overclock. So we'll go medium, see what happens. a chance here. Okay. Far Cry is a fairly pretty game. I haven't gotten past like, the beginning of it yet, but it is a seriously pretty, even on low settings, like, heh, <laughs> it's ridiculous. The video is getting rather long, man. It's 11 minutes already. Holy hell. See if I can turn off the music. Copyright.
a nice fucking phone. So, what do we have here? Grant. And Jason. From California, huh? So it runs well, decent on medium settings. Really Looks very really nice. Expensive. We're at 59 and 55 for tensors. I'm sorry, what did you say? What did you say? Did you want me to slice you open like I did your friend? Shut the fuck up! Okay? I'm the one with a fucking dick! Look at me. Look me in your fucking eye. That's how that game runs. Have to speed this video up here soon because it's already getting lengthy. Alright, um, last but not least, let's run Batman's Arkham City. If you're wondering what that is, my dog's over there having fun somewhere. Arkham City might work. Uh, doesn't seem to be doing anything. We'll wait a second and see. I only have eight minutes of video left. Oh, there it is. Let's just leave it on preset and see what happens. Again with the hard drive having to load things. This is also a very, very pretty game. I'm going to skip cutscenes because I only have five minutes or so now. This is interesting.
on. It's time to get what I came for out of that safe. This is on high settings. We're running 60 and or 55 for attempts. And as you can see, this game runs beautifully on high settings. I do have DirectX 11 mode disabled because there was a problem with that in Arkham City where it was causing issues, so I didn't even turn it on. But uh, this game runs absolutely flawlessly, and it's a very intensive game. And <laughs> boob shot. But, uh, yeah, so I only have four minutes left. We might have enough time to fire up one more game. Um, let's see here. Let's see if we can get Dirt 3 up and going in 3 minutes and 30 seconds. So yeah, so far, uh, after running these games, haven't seen anything over 60 Celsius, so for those of you who are wondering what the temps were like, uh, I hope that gives you an idea. Also hopes to give you an idea of what kind of games you could buy for this laptop. Uh, I went on um, canyourunit.com, and you can run, this system will run Battlefield 3, I've seen people do it on this system. It even says it will run Battlefield 4 in uh, at least mo low to medium settings, so if you're waiting for that game, you should be able to do it. Um, I personally am waiting for Grand Theft Auto 5 to have a PC release. So. Oops, hold on. But, uh, I only have about a minute, 50 seconds left, so... As you can see, this game also runs quite amazingly. There's, this is also on high settings. So, I hope this gives you guys an idea of what uh, this laptop is capable of. Well, only have 30 seconds left, so if you like the video, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and wait for more to come, because there most definitely will be, and I will talk to you guys later.